Are you sick and tired of automatic transmissions? Are you falling asleep at the wheel because you're so bored? Do you feel the need to hashtag save the manuals? Well, let me enlighten you people. Right here on this channel, we can end your automatic boredom and teach you the art of stick shift driving. So buckle up because you're on What a better way to start off Mooch Life stick shift driving class than to show you our very first customer on the channel. We got ourselves a nice 2014 Chevrolet Camaro SS with a six speed stick shift. So we're gonna save these manuals and we're gonna give you our first customer, show you the viewers how we rock and roll here on Mooch Life. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanna introduce to you, my friend, you know him, you love him, Muchacho, get over here. Get in the frame, dude. Come on over here. Don't be shy. He's coming. He's over there taking a leak. He just drank too many beers. What's up? I'm Muchacho. I'm here to stick shift the shit out of that machine. I can drive anything, but I've been in a coma for 10 years because I was snorting so much heroin that I fell asleep. And when I woke up, it was 1993. That Z right there, it's a manual. My coma made me forget all my stick shifting skills. So Mooch Life is here to help me get back to rocking and rolling in a manual because women like manuals and Muchacho likes women. So the first thing we need to do to learn how to drive a manual is to figure out how to start it. The first thing we're going to recognize is that we have three pedals. We got the gas, the brake, and the fun pedal here. The fun pedal is our third pedal, which isn't in an automatic transmission car. This is the clutch. The clutch is what we'll need to press in to get the car started. That's our Hurst short throw shifter here in our six speed manual. That is the gear pattern. Learn it, know it. They're different in different models. It's succession. One, two, three, four, five, six, R. R is reverse if you didn't know that already. So to start the vehicle, key. Ignition, put your foot on the brake and the clutch all the way to the floor. Make sure your stick is in neutral, which is the wiggly middle position. Turn your key and it starts. Now that we successfully started the vehicle, it's time to put it in gear and drive. As you can see down here, I got a light so you can see the pedals. We got the gas, the brake, and the clutch. So what we need to do is take off our emergency brake with the foot brake engaged pull up push your button let it drop if you remember the gear pattern that you should have studied first is left and up but we can't just put it up there we need to push our clutch in first now that the clutch is in we can put the car in gear now that we're in gear we can go ahead and just let off the clutch but if you do that the car is going to stall First, what you need to do is give it a little bit of gas as you're letting the clutch out to what they call the bite point. Let's show you what happens when you let the clutch off without hitting the gas. It stalls. Automatic transmissions don't do that, but manuals do. Makes it tricky. Now we're gonna show you the proper way to lead from a stop in a manual transmission. You can check the pip screen out I got going on here with my feet. We got the car in gear. We're gonna let off the brake, give it a little bit of gas and release the clutch. And as we do that, the car will start to accelerate. Once it accelerates enough, you can let off the clutch and just drive like a normal automatic until it's time to shift gears. But we'll cover that later here on Mooch Life. So here we go. Bye. So I went barefoot here, noticed my sandals were black and didn't make for good video because you couldn't see the pedals. So we got the clutch, the brake, and the gas. We're going to go ahead and put the clutch in, brake down, put it in first gear, take the e-brake off, and we're going to do our little pedal magic. A little bit off the clutch, into the gas, and get us into a rolling start. 
and just like that we're driving now i have my foot off the clutch because i'm in gear i don't need the clutch anymore because i propelled the car forward so now we're going to hit the street real quick here and i'm going to show you how to shift keep the camera down here now once the rpms get high enough and you feel the engine's red then it's time to shift gears you can do it by hearing it by looking at your rpm gauge there but when it's time to shift we're going to go into second which if you remember is straight down from first because you should have studied your gear pattern what you're going to do is let off the gas push the clutch in shift into second let the clutch out slowly and back on the gas now we're in second gear so we'll do that one more time. We're gonna do off the gas on the clutch, shift in the third, off the clutch, into the gas. Now let's see if Muchacho can do this. So I came today prepared to learn how to bang through those gears. I wanna get back to the old Muchacho, the post coma Muchacho, who rock white awesome socks with red stripes on it. Check it out, zoom in on those. Yeah, and these shorts, they're so luscious. The babes go crazy, they wanna take off their panties. Yeah, panty dropper, let's go. LS3, says it right there. LS3, look at that. Little sister, three times. I banged your little sister three times. I watched the Mooch Light video, part one of a two part series on how to drive a stick shift. I only paid for part one because my food stamps don't come until next week. And I spent the rest of my money on a six pack of Milwaukee's best ice. I'm gonna get in here and get up to second gear because that's all I can afford to see. Maybe if you guys stay tuned to Mooch Light, you'll see the ending, some high speed drives, some brakes some donuts all kinds of cool shit but first let's get into this motherfucker and drive like a man how do you get into this piece of shit oh yeah I rock Z I rock I watched the mooch light video he said to turn the key it won't start holy shit there's three pedals they didn't put that in the mooch light video let's see if I push this one Shit, shit, that one doesn't work either. Which one's the brake? What's this do? What is this thing? What is this thing? A Rubik's Cube? Where's drive? It's making all kinds of weird noises. It still won't start. Guess we should try the third. Oh, look at that. Started right up. What the shit was that? Is this the fucking DeLorean? Is this Back to the Future? I guess I need to rewatch the Mooch like manual transmission tutorial. This shit's confusing. Maybe I need to go back into my heroin coma. And when I wake up again, I'll remember how to do this shit. But I remember now, it's this one. Starts the car. Push that in. Turn the key. Oh, yeah. Check that out. I'll make sure this Rubik's Cube is in the middle. And look at that. It doesn't stall. Oh. All right, I'm going to shut the door. We're taking off. Put the car in first gear, and I'm gonna warp in outer space. Adios, muchachos. Give me a beer. I don't need to drive, I'll just be the passenger. You can always drink your beer better when you're the passenger. Every time I drink beer when I'm driving, I always hit shit. I don't need to learn how to drive a stick. I can just call one of my 16 girlfriends up. They'll drive me to Walmart so I can buy some more Aquanet, some fucking Doritos. I'll just have my bitches take me to Walmart so I can buy fucking VHS. What do I need a car for when I can just lay on the couch with my pornography? Strohs, heroin, women, men, sometimes men. Let me tell you one thing, brothers and sisters. Driving a stick ship is no easy feat, especially after you've awakened from your heroin coma because they tell me I used to be really good at this shit. But, with the help of Mooch Life, I'm learning, and I'm not there yet. But if you continue to support him, and subscribe to his channel, and comment on his channel, and like on his channel, and drink past Blue Ribbon on his channel, then maybe, maybe we'll just get to a thousand subscribers. 
and you'll see a lot more muchacho. Muchacho. We like to sit on the couch together. We drink past Blue Ribbon. We watch MTV. I want my MTV. There's no better way to get to your bitch's house so you can sit on her couch and eat her fucking Cheetos and drink all of her beer out of her fridge. And before you take all her food stamps and run to the grocery store, get yourself another turkey sandwich. Then when you're driving a manual, it makes you feel like a man. But I'm already a man. I don't need anybody to tell me I'm not a man. But when I pull up in a stick shift, the girls go nuts. They want to touch it. They want to feel it. They want to grasp it. They like muchacho.